worried that you are emanating a bad odor from your intimate area? Is the internet telling you that you should smell like roses, lilies and jasmines down there? Hi, I'm Dr. Sudesh Nare and we are going to talk about different kinds of vaginal odor or smell today. How to catch the early signs of trouble through the vaginal smell. Well, let's first understand how should the vagina smell like. Is it really supposed to smell like flowers or perfumes or fragrances? No, it isn't supposed to smell like anything but vagina. The natural odor of the vagina is a little sour and a little tangy or pungent, mildly pungent. But also remember that the vaginal odor changes with your menstrual cycles, also with your age. Now. Let's understand the different kinds of odors of the vagina and what it means and what to notice so that you can take the right action at the right time. One, sour and tangy. Well, this is the normal vaginal smell, tang uh, tangy or sometimes a little pungent. This means that you have got a lot of good bacteria called lactobacilli in your vagina and the pH is well maintained. Two, bittersweet like uh, maybe gingerbread or molasses this means that the vaginal ph has changed and it can invite infections three metallic now during your periods the discharge from the vagina can be s smelling a little metallic like copper pennies because the blood contains iron which is a metal fourth smelling like ammonia uh, if you are smelling more of urine, you uh, remove your underwear, you might be leaking urine uh, either with cough or sneezing or just like that. Get your gynecologist or doctor's opinion. Five, a skunk like or a sweaty smell down there. Well, it means that you are excessively sweating. Now that we know of the different kinds of vaginal odor let's understand the right practices to follow to keep the vagina healthy the first step is to practice the right hygiene because that's half the battle one one clean your vulva daily once or twice please do not over clean two Choose the product of cleaning very judiciously. You can use lactic based uh, intimate washes. Now these intimate washes are meant specifically for that area because they are gentler than your regular soaps. They help you to maintain the right pH balance which is very essential to keep infections away and to keep the right odor and the right balance in the vagina. So please swap away your soaps, fragrances or any kind of deodorants that you think you can use there. Four, absolutely no loofahs, no scrubs down there. Five, also allow your vagina or the vulva to breathe by wearing loose cotton underwear. And remember to come out of the sweaty clothes as soon as possible. If you think that your vaginal odor is still not going in the right direction even after practicing the healthy hygiene habits like we told before please visit your doctor as soon as possible i would urge all women to take care of their health and to take the hygiene and health in their own hands it is important that you understand the intimate care the specific balance that your intimate area needs